What's up guys, Trav White here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to shape and trim a messy beard at home. If you guys have seen some of my previous videos, my beard is growing out pretty scraggly and I was doing that on purpose. I know a lot of you guys were commenting, it's time to trim your beard, it's time to trim your beard. I know, I was doing it on purpose so I could make this video. So I've already done the trim. This is kind of the final result. I really like it, it's looking pretty clean and I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. Before we dive into it, be sure to join Mannered Mains, my Facebook group for hair and beard growth. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into it. So step one is to gather your tools. Now you'll want a towel or a mini trash can to put over your sink to catch all the hair you're trimming. Let's face it, nobody likes pubes all over their sink, especially if you have a partner you're living with or you're bringing a date home. It's the fastest way to kill the mood. I also have this cool little pube vacuum called the Stubble Buddy. It's from Pete and Pedro to pick up any remaining hair that might fall outside the trash can. This thing is cool. The only thing I don't like about it is that it can't vacuum on the curves of the sink. It really only works on flat surfaces. So that's why I rely on the trash can to get the bulk of the hair. And then I use this Stubble Buddy to grab the rest. Next, you'll need a beard trimmer. I use the Brio Beardscape. It's the best beard trimmer I've ever used. I've tried Manscaped, Wall, Norelco. I've tried many brands, but this one takes the prize. You can adjust the guard on the blade to go from one to 1.9 millimeters, and the guard also helps protect your skin from nicks and cuts. It also comes with detachable guards from one millimeter to up to 18 millimeters. Also, the battery life is insane. It lasts up to 240 minutes, which is four hours. It takes me about five minutes or less to do the trim, so I rarely ever have to charge this thing maybe once every couple of months, depending on how often I use it, which makes it amazing for travel as well. So I'll leave a link in the description for you to buy one. Next, you'll need a razor. I prefer a regular razor blade. Uh, the one I use is from Dollar Shave Club. I also have a single blade one from Supply Co, but you can even use an electric one. This really is just to clean up any stray hairs you may have missed at the end of your cut and trim. So after that, you'll want a beard balm to nourish and moisturize the beard and the skin beneath. I use Beard Brand Utility Balm. I like both the tea tree and temple smoke scents. And lastly, you'll want a soft bristle brush to get any stray hairs that get caught in your beard. Okay, let's move on to step two. We're going to trim the bulk of the beard. Now in this step, you'll be trimming as little or as much as you'd like. So the Brio Beardscape does come with guards from one millimeter all the way up to 18 millimeters, depending on how long your beard is. For me, I like the three millimeter length for my face shape. In this step, it's really important that you move the trimmer from north to south. You want to follow the direction of the beard growth. If you trim upward, you might take off more than you'd like, but you're also cutting the hair at an upward angle that you know shapes the hair in the opposite direction of how it grows, which can affect the end result and the shape of your beard. So always follow the direction of growth. I start on one side and work my way around to the other side. And depending on the length of the guard, it might be too thick to trim the mustache. If that's the case, you'll wanna take the guard off and gently trim the mustache down until it is even with the rest of your beard. If the mustache is much longer than the rest of your beard, you can always rock a beard stash look, which is still cool. After you trim your beard, you'll want to take your board bristle brush and brush away any hairs that are caught in your trimmed beard. After you're done trimming as much or as little as you'd like, we're gonna move to step three, and that is to shape the beard. So there are three areas to shape, the cheek line, the neckline, and the lip line. So on your cheek line, you can either have a straight line or a curved line here. Men with wider faces tend to want a straight line to give it a little bit more contour, but most everyone else will look good with a curved line. So to get a curved line, you just invert your trimmer, pull your skin up slightly, trim the hair straight, and then let go of the skin you pulled and it'll have a slight curve to it. Since my beard is pretty patchy on my cheeks, I just do a straight line that follows my cheekbones because there's a patch in it and you can't really tell anyways. So you'll want to clean up any hair that's on your cheeks as well. So you'll just take the trimmer and trim downward to get any stray hairs that grow above the line you're creating. 
So the next part is to shape your neckline. You want this area to follow your jawline about an inch above your Adam's apple. You do not want to shape this part at your jaw because when you turn your head, this is gonna give you that chin strap look and it does not create a strong jawline. So you want your beard to follow a downward angle from neck to chin and this creates a really strong jawline look. And you don't want any hair visible underneath your chin as well. If somebody's looking straight on at you, it'll kind of give you that neck beard type of look. So to trim this part, start at your jawline and follow it from your jaw and angle downward towards your chin. And you wanna do the same on both sides, making sure that line across the neck is as even as possible. If you have any excess hair below that, then you know, take your trimmer and trim upwards on this part actually because the hair on your neck tends to grow upward and not downward. So then finally, you'll want to trim your lip line. And with a short beard like I have now, you don't wanna go in a straight line across your lip. You wanna follow the shape of your lip so you kind of want to go at an angle so angle it upward on the right and the left side and sort of create a little crown there so you do want to follow the shape of your lip from bottom to top next is step four and that is to clean up the flyaways and clean up anything you might have missed with your razor and just to get a closer to skin cut so these are the stray hairs that grow in your cheek and neck mainly. This step is really just to make sure that you got everything off and to give it one final pass. You can use a razor blade or an electric razor here. You don't really need shaving cream for this, but if you're worried about cutting yourself, then you can always take like a really tiny bit of beard oil, put it on the area you're cleaning up for some lubrication. I do one pass in the direction of growth for these hairs. So for the cheek, it's one pass downward. For the neck, it'll be one pass upward. So a mistake here that I see men make is they do like four to five passes in one spot. And that's a really good way to get razor burn and um, ingrown hair bumps. So make sure that it's one clean pass and then move to the next spot. Step five, you will want to take your brush once more. This is the boar bristle brush and brush through your beard, get any loose hairs that might've been caught. Um, and make sure that they fall into the trash can right below you or a towel or whatever you're using. And then you're gonna take a tiny bit of the beard balm and then emulsify it a bit and then rub it into your beard and skin. So this will work as a great beard moisturizer and as a great aftershave for your skin. This will also help your beard to not feel very itchy. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hello.